Assalamu alaikum. I'm Altaf Sulaiman, blessed to take up the leading role in building Masjid al Mu'minin. I've been authorized by the board to lead this effort. Alhamdulillah, I'm going to talk to you of why this building of this masjid, the House of Allah, a community center, is going to empower the Clarkston community. I'm going to divide it into four main points. We are empowering the community by fulfilling a long-term need of a record Muslim attendance, number one. Number two, we are empowering the community by allowing them to realize their full potential. Number three, we are empowering them by leveraging off $1.4 million of capital that has already been invested. Number four, we are empowering the community by preparing, planning, accommodating for the growth that is yet to come. So let's talk about the first one. Empowering the community by fulfilling a long-term need of record, regular Salah and Juma attendance. This building is old, 115 year old. You can't continue to put money because one thing breaks, you fix it, another thing breaks. You have to do away with it. It's very expensive to repair and run away. So we have to build a new building. And with the blessing of Allah, a tremendous number of people come for the dawn prayer, up to 150. And you know, during we and Zohar, there are up to 500 Muslims there. So this is an awesome place with tremendous attendance. Number two, Jumma. You look at Jumma's law. For several years, the overflow continues to pray outside. And imagine in extreme cold, rain, snow, heat, they continue to pray outside for years, the overflow. And the zoning does not allow for a tent to be built. So by building this facility, which is a dire need, a desperate need, we are empowering them. Number two, let's talk about how building this facility will empower the community to realize their full potential. I don't think there is any community center amongst the Muslims, amongst the Masajids, that is serving at such a level in terms of providing incredible support service to the community. This community is blessed with indigenous people and people from all Blanca. They come from in all colors and shape, from Sudan, Somalia, Ethiopia, Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan, you name it. It's a very diverse community. And a lot of services are provided to them. There are Quranic classes, there are Islamic classes, there are quite a number of students from Myanmar who are come here as refugees, I mean, maybe close to 100, 80 to 100, they go on weekends and they have classes there. And there are a lot of sisters there who come from Iraq and other places and they do not speak English. And there are classes to help them speak, communicate, write, read English. So that is, these are some of the support and services. Plus, they are given financial support. If you look at the average household income there, it's less than 32,000. It's one third of what the average household income is in Roswell. And it is one fifth of Alfreda and George Creek. 
it is a place that deserves attention. And if we build a facility for them, they can have more programs and like SAT preparation, math classes, they can have sports fitness activities, they can have more spiritual programs and and more classes where they can educationally upgrade themselves. So as a whole, this will empower them to have more programs, more services, so they can realize their full potential. And this is going to help them become great citizens of this country, making great strides and contributions. Number three, 1.4 million has already been invested into this property from 1993 in terms of the properties that were acquired and all of that combined makes it 6.3 acres plus they have invested already I would say on earlier phases like infrastructure work like sewage has been laid a parking lot it may not look like oh many few fundraisers were done before where's the money 540,000 is in the parking lot a lot of people don't realize that it takes that kind of money so 1.4 million or more plus architectural drawings have already been approved and the soft cost architectural fees have been paid already and the DeKalb County related fees are already been paid so there are all these costs have already been invested so by going to the next phase next stage of building the building we are putting the community's money to work leveraging from what has already been invested before so this is in a way empowering them and number four no community should stand still not planning for the future so you're empowering them by planning preparing for the future growth let's talk about this in 2014 70,000 refugees came to the US all indications are a similar number is going to enter the United States this year in 2015. Now, Atlanta, good climate, 1996 Olympic City, it's a favorite choice. So you could expect an influx of refugees picking up this place and we have to be ready for that exponential growth. And the growth is not only because of people moving in, it's also the internal growth where people are having larger families, their families are growing. So by, a com by planning, accommodating, by building this, we are in a sense planning and accommodating for the exponential growth that's due to occur so that we are not caught off hand. And let me finish off by saying this. This life is short. We are all going to die. Where would you invest your money? If we all believe in Sadaka Tuljaria. Don't you want to invest somewhere where it is so well utilized, so many Musallis, and you are empowering them to realize the potential? This Almighty willing, inshallah, if you invest here, inshallah, this will become a source of light for you in the grave while this place will continue to benefit emanating a guiding light to mankind until the end of times. With this, I'll rest my case. Please call me with any questions, comments, or commitments you want to make by texting or calling me at 678-462-4444. Six, seven, eight, four, six, two, four, 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 two. Also, you can visit our website, 
مسجد المومنین ڈاٹ کام مسجد المومنین ڈاٹ کام میں اللہ ریوارڈ یو فور یو سپورٹ جزاک اللہ خیرن والسلام